So some people like to call the last week of the month Hell Week because they've been declining orders and in order to be a top dasher, your acceptance rate has to be at least a 70, 70% 70 acceptance rate. As you know, if, if you've seen any of my videos before, I cherry pick, I do not take orders that are not worth it, no matter, no matter what. If it's not worth my time, I'm not doing it. And my acceptance rate, it stays around 20%. I watch videos where top dashers are getting orders, taking orders, declining orders, and I will tell you, I, I see the same exact ratio of good and bad orders so the only other perk that i would see worth it is to be able to dash now and there are ways around it into your schedule you could schedule obviously today if i tried to schedule there's only a a 12 1203 i've never seen it say 1203 um but anyways um there's not much to choose from the day of so like if I wanted to dash tonight, like I would have to come out and hope that I could push dash now. But if you go out like um, next Saturday, it's not there yet. But Friday, I could go from four in the morning to midnight. Like I could schedule any chunk of hours I want to. So that's usually what I do. Let's see. Six dollars, six miles at the Burger King. Let's decline that one real quick. Thursday is looking about the same. Wednesday is looking about the same. Tuesday, Tuesdays are so dead in my area, but it's looking the same, four to midnight. So it's not even a week out. Like if I go for tomorrow, I could pick all those hours. And yes, it does depend on your area. It depends how, how many drivers are in your area how many people are already going ahead of time and scheduling for those certain hours but you guys there there are ways around being a top dasher now i just watched me mama's video where she's at 61 percent acceptance rate and she's got to get it up to 70 because she had like a week and a half to get up to 70 but she doesn't want to lose being able to dash now that that's her goal that's that's what she needs is to dash now right now my acceptance rate is 61 percent i don't want it to get lower once all the tips come in i'll put the the totals for the day i'm only at 62 percent acceptance rate on doordash i started at 61 so she took a handful of orders she was also doing uber eats but she took like a handful of orders on doordash and at the end of her shift her acceptance rate went from a 61 to a 62 and she's like that makes no sense i don't know how that happened like explain to me what happened not only on her channel but i've seen a couple other people i follow saying the same thing that they'll they'll decline two orders and then they'll go take five orders and it the the percentages just don't make sense so i choose not to stress over the percentages obviously i'm at 19 percent and i might make some comments here and there about oh i got a three dollar order i'll let it i'll let a top dash take that one but like all joking aside like we're all out here trying to get money so if that's what works for them more power to them i give all the respect to Mini mama and her doing what she needs to do to make sure she's at 70 percent like i'm not i'm no one to be bashing anyone else's way of dashing i just i as these apps evolved so have i and this is just how i do it so when y'all watch my videos and i'm just declining away and only taking the orders that are like at least two dollars per mile that's what works for me sometimes my area doesn't even give me orders that good but i i hold out because i rather save my gas than to go deliver a charity order where i'm not profiting much after that order lately i've been making like 25 dollars an hour only working 
the peak hours. Now, I, I don't want to be out here wasting my time trying to make, you know, $20 an hour when it's between peak hours. Like, from 2 to 4 on a weekday, nobody's ordering food. And you're going to get a lot of no tip orders. You're basically going to be wasting your time. What are the other benefits of being a top dasher? Now, some people say that they get better orders the higher their acceptance rate is. But from what I've seen, most people aren't agreeing with that. Nobody knows like the exact algorithm, how, how DoorDash sends their orders out. Let me know if you take anything from this video. Even if you disagree, like let's talk about it in the comments. I know I'm not 100% right. I mean, you might not agree with anything I've said. Everyone is different. I respect whatever you think. But I just wanted to bring these different things to your attention. And maybe you could look at being a top dasher, going through hell week differently. Um, you do you. And I will see you guys in my next video.